and exciting Idlewild Boulevard. We first told you about this story on Monday after people living nearby saw this sign popping up along Crystal Lake Road. And today, those residents making their feelings very clear to county commissioners. Here's Mary O'Connell with our continuing coverage. Not in our neighborhood. That's the message from everyone here today. I'm here today as a mom, as a citizen, a taxpayer, a churchgoer, a volunteer. They're rallying against a proposed plan for air curtain incinerators or ACIs in Lutz. Jenna Palladino lives close to the proposed site. My children um, go to school right around the corner. Um, we live right there. That's our Publix. That's our, uh, our church. That's our community. On Thursday, the EPC of Hillsborough County heard a presentation on a pending application for an air pollution permit to operate ACIs in the Lutz area. It's a story you heard here on ABC Action News earlier this week as neighbors voiced their concerns over potential health, safety, environmental, even traffic impacts. According to the presentation, the applicant is requesting to build two ACIs to dispose of yard debris and, if granted, they would burn up to 22,000 tons of debris each year. This is a permanent facility that would be right in the heart of a neighborhood and it's inappropriate. It's incompatible, it's dangerous, and frankly it's offensive. Some commissioners said they're as upset as the residents are. Commissioner Ken Hagen later made a motion directing EPC to stop work on their permit and to send a letter to the governor, to the secretary of the DEP, and state legislators expressing their stern opposition to this project. That motion carried seven to zero. I think it was important for us to take a stand and be united with the community that this, there's, there's no reason for this uh, incinerator, this furnace, to be in the heart of a in the heart of a neighborhood. We've reached out to a representative for the permit applicant and we're waiting to hear back. I hope they get the message that this is wrong and they should have done a lot more research before deciding to put a facility like this here. And Mary joining us right now. Mary, you've been following this story all week for us and the community there seems pretty united on this. People have really rallied together to turn out in force on this issue. In fact, during today's meeting, Commissioner Hagan showed our coverage from earlier this week to the other commissioners, as well as the people in the audience, to really provide more perspective on the impact this project may have on the neighborhood. And we'll continue to stay on top of any further developments that may come out of this story.